Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to a hopefully less gloomy RimWorld episode. I ran it through the night to get them going here, and did a lot of the little, oh, piddly stuff, I guess, you know, micromanaging, getting things cleaned up, bodies buried, and things like that. Zoya Grunt is fully healed. In fact, let's pause this before they get too far ahead of me and talk about some things that I did to bring you up to speed. I did lay out a, a good size, um, basically a greenhouse, put a solar, a sun lamp. That's right here in furniture right there. Sun lamp right in there. And we'll be able to brighten this place up, drop a heater in there, be able to warm it up. And we'll be able to grow in here in the winter time. So actually I could have moved it over a little bit. I see we didn't get any good soil right there, but yeah, maybe I'll, I don't know if we'll get this built this time anyway, but maybe I will shove it over just a couple of spaces. Um, otherwise, Tomislav, you are sound asleep because I worked you way into the night doing little projects. I did, went ahead and rethought the gauntlet a little bit, kind of redesigned. I do want a sniper run through here. I'll just have to be careful to you know, get a, a sniper. Actually, the sniper is going to have to go here because I can't put them over here. There's nowhere to escape. There won't be traps in the way. So that's the longest run we get right there. So I just have to be careful not to have other people sticking their head in to shoot at the same time the snipers are. Maybe if I can stage them a little bit. Pop in, shoot, pop out, and then the sniper takes off or something like that. Anyway, a longer sniper run, and then basically back like this. More chances of, of pistols and whatnot to be in here. So all this comes back out. We've gained a little bit of space in our area with this design and by the time we tear all these down and get at least most of this building material back we should have enough to, to get pretty close to finishing that one so a little uh, delay in the uh, in the completion of our gauntlet but i think we'll have a better product when it's done and when we do get into the mountain over here and down in here and we can tear this apart maybe we will do some kind of a gauntlet in here as well and that will finally eliminate the problem of the river access i can't think of a better way to deal with it other than just lots of turrets and you know ieds that we you know blow them all up and have to completely or keep rebuilding and replacing and i think i'd rather just have a, a nice wall system over here but that is many many episodes from now so thomas is asleep handy you are hauling in some wood so that you can build a campfire otherwise i got her set for um uh, working on the on the sewing again on the tailoring um i noticed something first of all lady shell brought up the idea of uh, of hats so i got some toques set up on on these two tailoring benches which is a a, a boost to their uh, ability to withstand the cold so a stocking cap i think of it that way and i had set them on both benches and natalia walked over and started to use this bench she tossed handy's duster down on the floor and started making the toque. She would not make a duster, but she would make a toque. So apparently they will use the same bench if they're not fulfilling the same bill. So swap out, put a second option for a bill in there, and suddenly Natalia was perfectly willing to use this bench. So there's something to do with that. I'm going to call that one a bug still, that uh, they, they can't share a bill on the same bench. But other than that, it appears that they still can uh, share the same bench. So that's what happened there. Um, Rabbit has been out hunting. You are digging at granite because the hunting's done. Because we got some meat in. There's there's uh, three in there. There's some ibex over here. Went, got that ibex that uh, went crazy last time and went after our enemies. So Shantico has been busy putting out all kinds of uh, fine meals. And, and boy, we need them too. So... Um, Let's continue down the list here. So that's what Shanti goes up to. Klaus has developed immunity. So he's fine. The infection went to major. So it was... But I think there's a stage or two beyond that. Isn't there critical or... or I think there's... Major is not, uh, not the final stage. So he was, he was fine. Um, right after I ended last episode, I went ahead and kicked him out of bed and had him deal with these guys. And he went ahead and... Actually, I want to set this. Yeah, that's where all of our fine meals went. Hmm. Last time I tried to set it for simple meals, it failed. Hate to give them all the good fine meals, but in the end, if it boosts their morale, then I guess that's good too. We will eventually bring more meat in. We get the rest of the herd to, to hunt. In fact, 
if rabbit is not hunting, it's probably time to go ahead and queue up uh, another two or three of those to hunt. We'll see how that goes. Um, so you're hauling that in. Who am I at? Sangria is set to haul, and she's bringing uh, hay. I'm trying to fill up the uh, the hay stock pile over there. Cathra is also set to haul. I took Klaus's duster off of him, put on Cla uh, Cathra so she can be outside hauling, and then uh, the, one of the two finished another duster, so Klaus made a beeline for it and put that one on. And then Natalia is sound asleep. She spent the night uh, taking care of these guys when they needed it. The uh, Actually, Klaus and Justin with the immunities. And then she was sewing all night long. Health, immunity, uh, infection is major. And the immunity down at the bottom, 96%. So he's about to pull through as well. Otherwise, health-wise, got a few charge rifle uh, shots left to heal. Matt. Uh, gunshots from auto pistols and revolvers. No infections though. And Zoya has just gotten out of bed. So she just, uh, her last uh, injury has been healed. So ready for Klaus to do his magic down there. Is that everybody? That is everybody. I went through, I added a wall right here to stop the cold from blasting into the hallway over here every time this door opened as well as into here every time this door opened. So I went ahead and held this door open. This is now our outside door. Um, if we were staying here, I would put a uh, an airlock in here, just like right there, try to, to minimize the temperature loss in and out of them. Um, it, <coughs> it may not hurt to do that for the winter. In fact, let's, that's probably not a bad idea at all. So let's just do that. You're going to go to all the way. We'll go to there. That way you can turn this corner easy and get to these. And then door right there. We'll get that one built soon. But this is already a huge improvement. So with the campfires, which really helped. Um, one, well, the temperature in here, we're at 83 degrees. So they're, they're, they're a nice balmy uh, temperature in there during this heat wave or, or ice cold snap. That's what it is. Anyway, over here, 76 degrees. A little colder in here, 69. But what is it outside right now? It's 23. It gets down to negatives through the night. So the night times when we really feel it. So we're in the 60s again. 60s to 80s everywhere. In the freezer, we are at 21. We're asking for 20, so that's doing good. Um, that's something I thought about earlier and didn't do. Let's extend that into there. Good. Okay, I think I can turn this back on again. So eventually we get this one built, though we are sitting great on food, so I'm not going to worry about it. We couldn't save those plants anyway. Was, there's no way we'd be able to build it in time, so it wasn't, wasn't uh, that big of a deal. Handy is out here without a duster, but she's set for sewing, so she's not going to be out there very long. But I wanted this one last campfire built uh, and running so we can get uh, these rooms warmed up for the night. And after that she'll get back to sewing, then Natalia will jump in and take over after her. Otherwise, the only other thing I can think to report, well, two things. One, Rabbit tried to woo Handy away from Tomislav, and that didn't go over too well. Otherwise, Rabbit is going off hunting again. Good. Um, I couldn't find Divot last night. They're all sleeping in here, and there was an extra pile of... Matt is healed. Extra pile of kibble right there, and Divot turned out to be buried in the kibble. So he, he slept in the food last night. Kind of cute. Otherwise... Klaus is trying to convince Matt, but it's way too early. Uh, Matt's chances are... What would that be? I'm on Klaus. That's why he's not there. Prisoner. 78%. Justin is fully healed, so his health immunity has developed. Good. And he's got the peg leg and a scratch scar, so no uh, fixing that one. Now, I wouldn't expect Klaus to accomplish anything yet. Maybe another f several rounds. What, what I'm hoping to do, though, is to get their moods up enough so that they aren't going to think about uh, breaking out of here. If they do, what is there for weapons in the area? they got to get through this door, go through this one, go through this one to get to the first weapon. By then, I'm sure we could all be in there and uh, meleeing them. Unless, of course, we're all off fighting a battle somewhere. Then they break. That would not be good. So handy is still hauling what interesting i had you haul are you are you just getting in for the first time 
I thought you would have been here and back by now. What is that? Oh, I just meant to set you to do that for the one time. Then I, that's right, then I was supposed to remember to, to get rid of that. So, actually, Andy, where'd you go? Lost you. There you are. Just drop it. Let the wood there. We'll, we'll use it at one of these fires. Why don't you go work on a toque or something? Perfect. Okay. So, we'll get toques on everybody. And, in fact, I did a bunch of force wearing. Clear, clear, clear. They'll all... Bulk goods trader. Good. Um, they will all... Uh, um, what, am I, what am I saying? Yeah, they'll, they'll just naturally put them on because it's part of their list anyway. Um, I've still got them set for summer. Let's... I was told not to worry about that anymore, that if they get cold, they'll put on whatever they want. So, in that case, let's edit you... Not edit. Let's just set you... Hmm, how do I do that? Right there. That's what I'm trying to do. To, well, really to ranged. What is the summer? Let's do that route. Uh, manage outfits. Let's go to delete, new, and select. Let's select ranged summer. Change the name to ranged. And not worry about whether or not they're wearing a jacket or a parka. Just the, the, uh, the shield belt. I don't want the range to wear. Okay. And then... If we have any melee, let's have them. Uh, melee summer becomes melee. And again, don't worry about the jacket or the parka. And I don't want any of them wearing tribal wear. I don't see the, the point. I don't know if there's any problem with it, but... Uh, 0 to 61 points. No, 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 no. I was actually trying to go this route. I'll go back and check all those, make sure they're fine. Anyway, that takes care of all of that. And nobody should have taken off. Actually, I take that back. Assign outfits. There is one more category I always forget about. So ranged. I always forget the headgear. There's multiples under that. So tribal and war mask and war veil is what I got rid of. Okay. That's fine then. Okay. So that's all done. Handy is making dukes. Yep. And otherwise, Sangria is planting and disturbing Handy or Natalia. Okay. Um, any more planting? To, yeah, I guess all the day lilies have died. So she's taking care of all those real quick. All right, so hauling. We're getting all the clothes brought in, which is something we're going to sell. Let's go to Bulk Goods Trader. A trade ship is passing nearby. Oh, did Handy get out here and build some power or something on me? No. There's no power there. Oh, okay. We could call them, but they're not around. I mean, we don't have any way to, to trade with them because this hasn't been built yet. Okay. Um, we could try to pull that off. We could. Handy boy, I wish there was a duster around here somewhere. Who's not going outside that could toss you a duster? Catherine, what are you wearing? Um, gear? A synthread jacket. Oh. Yeah, we got jackets over here. Forgot about that. Handy, go over here and wear a jacket. You're not wearing one already, are you? Um, handy gear. No. So that will actually finish you off because it's the same warmth as the duster. It just doesn't do the summer side of it. So after you do that, then I want Handy to um, work on the generator. And once that's done, see that is going to take what? Generator is going to take 100 steel and we have left steel 170. So we've got quite a bit of steel queued up, but nobody is really doing any mining right now. At least I thought we did. Though there wasn't any steel showing through here. There was, they were uh, compact machinery and silver in this area. There was steel right up in here by the bugs, right? What am I thinking of? No, there's the steel over here. And there's steel over there. And there's steel over there. So it isn't actually queued up. 
Okay, let's do that while I'm thinking of it, because I'm going to have to force somebody, hopefully after the cold snap's over, though, to get out here and take all the steel out. And just in case there's a surprise waiting for us, let's remove roof in this area as well so nothing can collapse. Okay. All right. So we need to remove the roofs in here, but nobody is on construction duty right now. Don't know... If I were to hit ignore roof, actually that one's a keeper though. Build roof. Yeah, that one's a keeper. It's this over here. I already hit ignore roof over here, but nobody's come out to remove it. So if I actually say remove roof just to make sure that there's nothing that can collapse on them, maybe that will become their first uh, or number one uh, order to those that are, uh, ah, they're all going to get the jackets on their own. Good. Um, um, Natalia would rather have a Synthred jacket than her own duster. So apparently because it's Synthred, which is a higher quality, just like the wool, they'll, they'll swap out the wool. That must be what it is. And thank you for eating at the table. That's nice. Klaus is going to do the same thing. No, he's, 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 he likes the other duster. <laughs> We're all swapping clothes today. <laughs> Okay, so Handy, you are hauling steel. Okay, good. Let's see if it's possible to grab this trader. Just out of curiosity. And bulk goods, that's clothing, right? I think it is. Okay, um, Tomislav, you are cleaning blood. Let's get as many of these guys hauled in as possible. Um, haul that, and then haul that. All that they don't like to wear clothes that came off of somebody who had died that kind of freaks them out so that's something that's good to sell uh, Klaus you go ahead and get done with that rabbit I'm going to distract you your hunting trip by making you do this instead no take that back uh, rabbit rabbit now I was holding the shift down and that canceled everything. Do I mean that didn't cancel the trip to go hunting. There we go. That's better. You do those three. And so I already have Tomislav doing that. Um I will Klaus in a moment, but he's eating, and by the time he gets done eating, everybody else is gonna take off and sneak away from me. So Sangria. You are hauling cloth toque. Let's have you instead. Those three are done. Those three are done. You're going to do this one. And then... Make sure... Actually, did I tell you to force wear that? Go back to Sangria. Hauling. Hauling. Okay. It's not showing. That's weird. Let's cancel all that. Alright, Sangria. And right there, you're going to haul. And... You're going to haul. And... Is there an object other, or anything out here other than those three that needs to be done? Uh, nothing landed in there. Got my finger on the shift button. It's just flying me through the map. Okay, that's the end of those. Ah, well, you look at that. Unforbid that one. And Sangre, you can do that one next. Okay, that's those. And then, let's see. Um, Kathra, are you... You're already out here. Okay, you can grab these three then. So, in place of doing that, do this one, and then that one, and then that one. Alright, that should get all of these things piled into here, hopefully about the same time that Handy gets that uh, solar generator built. The concern is that she also... Whoa! That was weird. The whole ground shook. Like we had an explosion. Like we had a discharge. It didn't, so... Oh, psychic wave has swept over the... I see. Your colonists are okay, but... It seems many of the wild boars in the area have been driven insane. <laughs> And they're coming down the river. Yeah, all those ones we were going to tame, right? Okay, uh, attacking Tomislav, attacking Tomislav. You are not. Ooh, is it just the two? Those two? 
No, 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 no. Over here. Attacking rabbit. Attacking rabbit. You. We have four so far. You. No. So, so far there's four. Anybody over here? Deer. No. Looking for anything that moves. Nothing. Okay. So far I think we're four. They're coming through the river. They're all over here. And what are we going to do? We could run for the doors. We can get through the doors and they're going to be running the gauntlet backwards trying to get to us. So that gives us the ability to, to uh, not be harmed there. Um, animals, let's just do a quick restrict to dog safe zone including the alpaca so you're going to either going to come into here or they're going to go into there and hopefully that means the closest one that they're next to so ham you stay inside this time <laughs> okay well yeah that kind of changed my plans because now i'm going to have to issue all these orders over again because i'm going to have to tell all these folks to uh, take cover um Sanger, you're heading that way. I'll let you continue. Natalia, you're probably... What? Making a toque? That's fine. Klaus? Hmm. Why don't you head out? Let's recruit you and put you right there. Okay. Who else is down in this area? You guys are in here. I don't want to uh, neglect these guys too much. I really want to get their uh, their moods up and keep them up. Make them happy campers. Shantigo, you've got the sniper. Let's put you out over here for a shot. Once you get aggroed upon, I'll just put you back inside. Okay. You're still having nightmares after uh, the beating you took last time, so I don't want to put you through too much more. <laughs> Otherwise, these guys, Cathra, you are queued to go over there. Now, all of these are coming through here. Those two are already already almost there. And there are two more that were on their way down. There may be yet be more somewhere else on the map. But so far, I didn't see anybody coming at us from out over here. It does tend to be localized, you know, this zone, rather than everywhere on the map when this happens. Okay, well, let's see where everyone's naturally going to. You guys are all heading into here. Okay. Cathra, you've got only a pistol. So, but you've got a fast shot. So you're actually going to be beneficial here. Let's put you here. That way they've got to run through the rocks to get to you. In fact, can I put you there? Yeah, I'll put you there instead. So they're most likely going to pass through the rocks, giving you time to, to run. Um, otherwise, Sangria, you're a little concerning here. They'll be in the water for a while. So you've, you've got a head start there. I think we're fine with that. Okay, while we're waiting to see where they're going, any more heading this way? These two... That's all I'm seeing moving. Just these two. Okay. Up in here. Nobody running. Over right in this area. Just the Ibex. Down in here. Nobody. Okay. Alright then, Klaus is getting into position, so Shantigo, there is a squeal, they're kind of giving us a warning that they're coming. Now, Tomislav, you are heading in the wrong direction now. Let's put you actually in the same area, that'll be fine. Uh, we'll not go there, okay? Then let's put you there. You've got charge rifle, rabbit, let's get you ready, draft, we're putting you kind of in this area as well. And Sangria, you are close enough now. Draft and put you a little higher up into here so you can dive into a door that much easier. Klaus is going to be taking a shot here soon. So will Shantigo. There's nobody crossing their paths. And it is possible they could cross each other's paths. Let's get Shantigo more like there. Okay. So, are we good now? Actually, Natalia's got the revolver. Let's just get her ready. Just in case. Let's get her um, over here as well. She's got a door close enough to run into. She's got a really slow run, so I want to take care of her. Okay. Dropping into here. There's our other two making the corner. Still 
No hint of anybody else coming at us. So just the four. All right. Who was that? That's down here. Good. In the way. One's down. Unforbid. Well, we'll unforbid it later. Another shot coming in. We've got the ostrich who's freaking out and running away. Come on, guys. Take him down. Take him down. Take him down. Take him down. Got him. Woo! That was close. Okay. We have two more coming. Right there. Handy. You snuck through and got out of there. Let's put you right there. Draft. Oh, we're down in here already. Oh, okay. Natalia, hop inside. And Shantigo, you're inside as well. You have both are real slow. Klaus, uh, Shantigo's slow as far as his cooldown. Klaus, let's run you right out of there. Like that. And Handy, let's get you over here so there's no way you're shooting through Klaus. So both these guys took the route down here. Okay. So in that case, let's get... Rabbit, your range is not going to do you any good. Let's get you to there. And Kathra, get you on the shore. And Tomislav, you hop into this area as well. Uh, Sangria, hit over here. Okay. Let's see how this goes. I didn't realize this guy had gotten so close. Okay. Got to hit Klaus, who's running really slow. What's with Klaus? Um, health is still listed as the infection. Ah. I have to go on a whole other cycle to cancel that out. So, we're going to be in trouble here. Hmm. Klaus, you've already done what? Uh, bite to the right leg. Now you're even slower. Oh boy. Then I'm going to send you to here instead. Just because that puts the pigs between you and these bullets coming in. Hopefully they don't shoot you too many times. There we go. <laughs> okay, well, no, you didn't get shot. Oh, good. We're done now. I think we're done now. Whew! Okay, well, I wish I could mass stand down. Let's do something like this and do that. And does that free everybody? I think so. Okay. Well, Klaus, you go right back into your hospital bed. <laughs> and as soon as you get there, we'll make sure that uh, Tomislav's taking care of you. Shantigo, you're going to go cook a fine meal because that makes you happy, and that's fine. Natalia's going to go take a fine meal because that makes her happy. All right, so, Cathra, back to where I was. I really need you um, hauling that in and hauling that in. Uh, Sangria, why don't you work on hauling this one and this one and this one. And Rabbit, you're going to haul in this one. Um, right there, and this one, and that one. Handy, where did you escape to? Right there. Handy, try that again. You are not making a toque. You are... We're done. Good job, Handy. You go make a toque all you want. All right, unforbid these guys. The rabbit as well. These guys down here, already unforbid. Okay. Woo! Kind of survived that one. Yeah, now imagine that being boom rats. Calling his knees bad, yep. Imagine all the boom rats on the map suddenly went crazy. Speaking of boom rats, I saw boomalopes up here. That's right, I've already marked them for tame. Okay, so once we can get Sangria back to taming again... Um, which is probably, probably after all this hauling gets done... That's probably the last of the emergencies. Let's unforbid you two. Um, any others? So really, that's one, two, three, four. There was another one, five. None of those were ours, right? Nope, ours is right there. So five of them came in, but I only tracked down four of them. Interesting. So we still have the two up here to tame. That one is set for tame. And... That one's set for tame. That one we can as well. That gives us potential of four or five. 
boom rats to tame. We have a cougar. Well, you look at that. Got a cougar that has eaten recently. So there could be a dead animal probably right there. A blood of a turkey. No, that was a rabbit. Rabbit would have shot that one. Um, the cougars, well, the predators will kill something and sometimes only eat part of it. Then you can uh, go up and, and grab it for the rest of it for butchering. It's kind of like roadkill. These guys are fleeing. Rabbit is taking a shot. Okay. So that means lots more meat just arrived for butchering. That's good. And what doesn't get used is frozen out there. We're at 24 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay then. Um, what next? What next is Klaus? Where are you? Klaus is in bed. Did he? Yes, he got he got put back together again. And we've got 71% quality. Didn't get to see who did it. And he got done with herbal medicine because I didn't reset him. So that's a problem. But I think he'll be fine. Though I do need to bug you. You've got the best social score by a long shot. So you are going to make the call to the bulk goods trailer trader. Although, did we get the last of these in? We did not. So I need somebody. Handy, you're out here. Can you haul that one and haul that one? Is that the last of the stuff that we could sell? Bulk goods seems like was clothing. And it may even be furniture. Might be the furniture. That is all that I can see that's critical. Everything else is... Click on this guy. Within range of that, yes. Okay. Now, it'd be one disadvantage to having all the weapons down here is that the ones that are garbage are down here too and there's no way to tell it just take this specific one and put it over there so i can't sell that one i could put a orbital beacon right here though Ooh. yes one two three four five there's six sleep spots in this area we've got five animals Our weapons up in there uh orbital trader a uh, beacon. Miscellaneous. Right there. Ah, uh, it won't. Well, it won't let me make a stockpile. But it doesn't have to be in a stockpile, does it? It just has to be within this range. Whether it's called a stockpile or not. Stockpile is to convince them to bring things to it. But it should still work within the range. So what is the range? Um... From there it goes to that space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces away. So these are on this wall. Those I'm going to miss, but I can hit everything else from there. Yeah. Yeah, right there is iffy. I can get them all from there. Space already occupied, so I can't build it with that there. So deconstruct that. And miscellaneous orbital trade beacon right there. It'll grab power from that one. That's going to take how much steel? 50. Do we have it left? Steel. Eh? Are we seriously down to zero? We're seriously down to zero. Okay. Well, so much for that plan. Klaus, let's sell what we can. Right there, maybe we can buy some steel. Um, call these guys. Need an orbital trade beacon to trade with the ship. The beacon needs to be powered. Yeah. It is now nighttime. <laughs> There's no battery set up yet. It was daytime when before the you know the wild boars messed up my plans and this was going to power it during the daytime to get that trade done okay uh natalia really everybody's got toques let's look at this uh, let's look at this everybody rabbit so do we have a toque left over here we do we do but it is warm by a corpse and over here we have one of our own. Okay, we're done. So everyone's got uh, jackets. That wiped out the need for more of the uh, dusters. Aha. Okay. Well, 
Rabbit is busy. If he gets cold, he can come grab that toque. Otherwise, let's put Handy back into construction and let's get something seriously done here. So she is set for tailoring, otherwise she automatically drops in construction. So that's fine. Colonist needs a bed. And that will be that one soon. And I do need to get a bed popped into here while I'm thinking about it. Furniture bed into Shantigo's room as a backup for one of the uh, the guys that are going to be uh, um, um, recruited soon. And as a backup bed, maybe for the lady, Zoya, we'll make this a temporary room. It's going to be tough, though. That might be better though it's still considered disturbed sleep in there we may have to pop a doorway across here that might be the route to go there hmm i'm gonna run out of rooms we need to get into this and that's kind of the plan for winter which is kind of starting so that's the last well this one and the gauntlet are the last major projects and then we're gonna get into digging our way through this mountain all winter long but in the meantime, we will still have several raids come in and we will still have lots of people recruited. So we may have to all get creative and pop a, a, a hallway through here and, and put a door or a wall right there and, and make this a bedroom or something. Whatever it takes to kind of just create some space rather than spend more time and more materials building more places. Though I guess we could get a little creative and make a hallway that runs through here and pop one more bedroom in there and extend this one out a little bit. May, it may be possible. Hallway straight through this. So this is part of the the building. And that may be the, a route to go and get another bedroom in here and by spring tear it all back down and get back to growing again. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how fast we go through this these vegetables. It's very possible that we'll be able to maintain enough out of this if it goes year-round. We'll see. We're getting a lot more people, too. Anyway, what's happening here? Rabbit thinks he's going to bed. It is bedtime. Is that okay? I think it is. Okay. The dog's ham is resting. He's going up here to rest. Because he didn't want to go to this one. Okay. Um... In that case, we probably do need to think about a second kibble spot, too, at some point. Or did I already do that? You were hay, and you stockpile zone for foods. Where am I at? Scroll down. Let's get meat. There we go. Hay is in that one. Hay is in that one. Hay is in that one. That's three hay. Let's set one for kibble instead. Right there. And that probably means we need to up the kibble to you know, double that. So, kibble details take you to 150. Because I think we can, what was it, 75 in a stack? So that should work out fine. Okay, well, and it triggers at 74 then. We'll do that. So, bills, kibble right there. Triggers at 74. Triggers at. Unpause at 101. It automatically... It tried to think for us. It'll take you down to something like that. Less than a full stack somewhere. That'll do it. Uh, let's see. It makes 50 at a time. Oh, well. That, that's, that's too hard to think. <laughs> Where are we? About 40 minutes into this nail? Okay. So, Klaus is injured he health what do we have here a scratch must, must have been a pretty serious scratch there uh 29 out of 30 on the bite another scratch 26 out of 30 i think those are the ones that give you a, a chance for infection bandage quality efficiency so his leg or his neck 85 percent efficiency his left leg 85 percent okay so his moving is weakened right now by 85 percent there we go well, you think it'd be 85% of one leg only, so, you know, 93%, but maybe that's not the case. Moving is moving. Doesn't matter if it's right or left. All right. You guys are doing your thing. Natalia is relaxing socially. How are you doing? Food, you're going to need a... In fact, once that's done, that's your joy. 
You'll probably be getting a meal soon. Ugly environment. There's your meal. Okay. No, you are doing what? You are feeding Klaus. Okay. That's your doctoring taken over. Good. And it didn't break a rabbit. That's nice to see. Tomislav, you are consuming a fine meal, which are stored out here right now. How's the temperatures now? Outside, we are what? We are 7 degrees. Bedrooms, we're still at 66 degrees. It's going to continue to drop through the night. There's 65, but that was, that's, that's done pretty good for a cold snap. And yes, it is still going. Cold snap started the 5th of September. Uh, so far, it's lasted one day and 13 hours. An unusual cold snap is freezing the region. I have set all these manually to no longer allow sewing so that they won't go out there and sew it all if the cold snap finishes and we still have a day or two of quote unquote not winter. But our 30 out of 60 really should be ending here like now, you know, 7th or 8th. That's my guess if, sem if summer is the center of it then we shouldn't be capable of growing anymore. Um, roofs are still roofed. So I'm curious as to what Handy is going to build first. She kept wanting to do the solar generator beyond anything else. And I see we have a little power. So Klaus, before these guys leave, if they haven't left already, they're still here. Let's do this real quick. Sorry to bug you, but... They only stay for a day or so and they're gone, and we've been a day or so. So let's see if we can unload some of this, and that may be the end of the episode. Alright, to send items or silver to Orbital Trader, you must build an Orbital Trade Beacon and place a stockpile of items near it. Why are you telling me that? Negotiator cannot talk because of poor health. This will affect his trade price. Consider using a healthier negotiator. Interesting. Let's cancel and pause. Let's see if we can figure out what that means. Your negotiating skills. That's got to be in this pile of numbers here somewhere. Your eating speed. That should be right in here, right? Mental break, move speed, race description, comfort, immunity, body carrying. Okay, pain, meat, mass. Klaus's meat amount is 90. Why am I not... Oh, there's a scroll down. That catches me every time. Social. There we go. Uh, trade price improvement of 19.3%. So that's the only one, right? And social impact of 125. Okay. So 125 and 19%. Kathra, you're the next one in line. Let's see what yours is. Social. So improvement of 11%. And 83. So even though Klaus is injured, he is still in better shape because his skill is superior. Okay, that answered that. Now, I'm still wondering why it told me to worry about the trade beacon. We did have power over there. Cancel pause. And it is not telling me that it's not working, right? There's no... Yeah, we've got power and it seems to be functioning. Um... There's no hint that there isn't enough power. Okay, it takes 40 watts, and we're connected to something that's already making 493 watts. So we're fine. Okay, so nothing should fail here. Let's go ahead and make this happen. I think it's because this one is not constructed yet. So it's throwing that into consideration. All right. What can we sell, and what do they have to sell us? Those are theirs. No names. Okay. They have a football. I mean, a Yorkshire Terrier. Yorkshire Terrier. Yeah. Um, they have lavish meals. Okay, let's sell our stuff first and see what our total turns out to be. 500 of our silver is in the stockpile. That's good. So components. Wake up. Yes, we'll sell that. We did manage to get some wake up out of the raid. Definitely get rid of that, which is 121 for that. Good. Otherwise, it doesn't say worn by corpse, so we're just going to have to make the guess. Let's get rid of all of... Everything is damaged. Let's go that route. That'll be obvious. Okay. These are not damaged. Well, cloth duster will get rid of those two. I'm pretty sure that 
some of the the bodies still had some really good percentages on their clothing so that very well could be and they were all wearing toques so we'll get rid of these as well okay um, again I'm not missing it right there's no hint without clicking on the eye or something that these were worn by corpses okay hey there's our beds we can get rid of get 10 bucks each out of them sure they've got 3700 so we're not in danger of, of uh, overwhelming them so let's get rid of all of these all the pores and shoddies perfect wooden table normal times two that's theirs okay that didn't, that didn't make sense okay wooden sculpture we have a wooden sculpture I didn't know that let's look at that wooden sculpture okay so Kathra made a wooden sculpture um, torso sized piece of material sculpted into an artistic form uh, bears a description of an ostrich in the formal suit of a comedian <laughs> The smiling head of a miller watches over all. The overall composition is unbalanced by Cathra. Uh, beauty's a negative five, so we'll go ahead and sell that one. That's that's a detractant. Okay, sorry, Cathra, you can you can continue practicing. All right, we've got they've got. Okay, so that is the end of our sales. Correct, gold to sell. These are all sold, and there are no weapons here to deal with in or out okay so that works we could not they're not uh, willing to buy prisoners okay okay what do they have that we need we don't need any more retrievers ham is fine and we've got three babies that are growing up we could sell a wild boar for 90 so by taming these animals we've got the ability to make some money out of them too as long as they are bonded to somebody. But wild boars do haul for us, and they will rescue, right? They will at least release. I think they might rescue as well. In which case, that's a little more of a tankier animal to send into the middle of a fight. You, know, you saw how many shots those uh, uh, those boars took that were coming after us before they finally went down. Okay, they have components to sell. We have quite a few to mine. We don't have a lot of time for mining. So that's questionable. I need medicine. Yes, it's expensive. It's quite expensive. Hmm. We've got 20 some, and one more raid is going to hurt us. Hmm. There's 300 coming in. We'll leave medicine for last. We may just swap that 300 for as much medicine as we can get and call it even. But otherwise, to sell us animals, chocolate which helps boost our morale if we're having problems with our moods but you know what we haven't had any you know any kind of, of warning about mental breaks since I don't know, episode two or three so we're not really in an issue or in, a, in a problem with the uh, with the moods we're doing fine so i'm not going to worry about spending money on that lavish meals give quite a boost does it tell me in here let's see i don't want to mess anything up gives us a does not you've got to eat it and then see what it did to your move but i think it's a plus eight or ten something like that maybe even as much as 15 so they're definitely worth making but we haven't got the uh hmm that remind me what the difference between a fine and, and lavish is was it more materials or was it just more time if it's more time we might play with that idea we only have so much meat anyway so I could stack it in after all the fines, fine meals are done. If there's still meat left over, go ahead and pop in a few lavish ones. That's a possibility. Um, cheap meat? Hmm. We don't have any room in the freezer right now, but it's frozen outside. That's something to think about, too. Nutramine. This is used to make our own medicine, and Catherine's probably screaming at the at the, uh, the screen right now, buy the Nutramine! Synthetic precursor chemical. Useless on its own, many drugs require nutrine as an ingredient. I believe that is what she had mentioned, that we could use our drug bench to make our own medicines. So let's go ahead and do some... Whoa, eight each. Hmm. Well, it's cheaper than buying the medicine. Let's put it that way. Where'd the medicine go? Down here. So, yeah, we can get, what, six for each of the medicines. Okay, we'll go that route instead of that, and we'll get to researching drug bench and get that going. Okay. Otherwise, steel, they do have it. It's quite expensive. Okay. 
Marble, beer, wood. And these are all ours. We don't need to buy any clothes. Um, a smoke pot belt for 400. What else? What are you? A tribal headdress. We got some hats. We've got a steel, good quality, advanced helmet for 500, 400. Um, down here, they got the tables for sale. We've got the poker table for sale, which is a joy thing. Hmm. I think we're going to go with the Nutramine and call that one done. And we'll go off and, and do some steel mining here soon. And we're probably going to find a lot of steel uh, veins in our in our base as we mine it out. That's what I'm kind of waiting to get into. Once we get that going, then we should get access to a lot more materials like steel. So let's do the Nutramine and let's see how far we can go. Can I count up by... Where'd you go? Uh, scroll for a while. You're in this area. Neutra right there. So I can go up by ones. I could type it in. Let's, what does 50 cost? 50 costs what we've sold plus another 50. I don't remember or don't know how many of these makes a medicine, if it's one for one or not. If so, buying 50 medicine is a great uh, occurrence for any trade. So I'm going to say that's, that's a good place to start. Um... To buy it all will bankrupt us. We might actually have a real need next time. Or we might come across some real cheap medicine next time. They didn't have any more herbals. No. Okay. Well, we're going to go with that. Except that's going to drop down by the orbital trade beacon. So it popped in here. So, there it is. Sitting outside. Darn. Deteriorating. Who's in the area? Klaus is probably going back to bed. He was in this room. Boy, he's a fast mover. There we go. Even with his limp, he's he's a he's heading right back to that bed. Um, Tomislav, you're here cleaning blood, which is good. I set Tomislav and Shantigo as their secondary job to go clean up all the blood in the area, which will boost our uh, morale. Good have you do that. Who else is around? Um, in fact, if you're willing to clean, I'm very thankful. Natalia doesn't haul. Handy is busy. Kathra is sleeping. Sangria is sleeping. Let's let Handy, uh, six degrees outside, find meal. Let's let you go for a little bit here. Zoom in. You are almost done. And then you were going to make a toque because we sold some. I got to go through and rearrange that. I had really upped the numbers in order to offset what we were storing because that was really messing up our our bills. So, make a two. We don't need six anymore. Now we can take it back to just two in stock. And we'll make it three just in case. Well, nope, two. I want you to get you. I want to get you constructing. But we will take this one back to a two. And we still need yours done. So, I'll tell you what. You continue doing this so you will finish that one finally. Shantigo, you're consuming a fine meal after you move this in. All right. That works. Okay, so that's done. And basically, it's just now getting them to do the construction. It's more micromanaging of, you know, having somebody go haul a whole bunch of wood in and fill in all these spaces. And then Handy can come out here and, and build it all. Tomislav is cleaning dirt. How's the cleaning in here, specifically? Actually, we're looking pretty good. We are. There's a little bit over there and there from Klaus's injury, probably. Well, it'll tell me. Click right there. That is Blood of Tomislav. And uh, there as well. This one is Blood of Shantigo. So these were all hospital beds a while ago. And pretty much everything got cleaned up. This got cleaned up. Well, that's good. That was important. Okay. Then I think we'll have Tomislav, first of all, come off of cleaning right there to make that a two. And why don't you haul wood to here? Which should send you... I was hoping you would go up there. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just have to go that route. And Handy will already, once this is done, and it'd be nice to get this one done. Work Quite a bit of work left, but it won't have this sit out here anymore. Otherwise, Shantigo, you are going to be nonstop butchering or something. We're out of space in here again, so... You will... Will you butcher? You'll eat first. Yeah. Um, 
There's no meat. That's a questionable thing. Whether or not... Okay, you will, because you don't need an empty space. Klaus is fully healed. Great. Klaus, and first of all, let's reset. Well, let's look at you first. Health, bite scar, and you still have immunity, and it's not uh, dropped off the off the chart yet. But let's get you set back to Klaus. No longer a hospital bed. Klaus, there. All right, with that, I feel like we finally got everything done. What I was going to say was, I was thinking the Shantiu couldn't butcher if there wasn't a place to put the meat back, but it's two separate issues completely. So he is going to cook a fine meal, grabbing the meat out of there. Klaus is going to make kibble, which will hopefully finally use enough of the meat, great, to open, open up a space over here, the bug meat. And actually, Shantigo, this is... Let's do something different. Let's have you haul all of that to here hopefully and when you're at this point right here I'm gonna have you haul this instead you'll grab both of them and I'm gonna break that again and do that there you go that's done now let's haul some corn fill both these up and then you can just sit there and make meals to your heart's content and hopefully when Klaus is done. Interesting, he went all the way up there to get strawberries. He's going to do it again. Doe revenge. Well, so much for me shutting this down real quick. Stop! I thought I did pause. Where's Rabbit? Rabbit! They're all coming, aren't they? You attacking Rabbit. Attacking Rabbit. Attacking Rabbit. Attacking Rabbit. Rabbit, I need you... Okay, Tomislav is tearing these down. You've got an assault rifle. Rabbit, I need you here. Draft, go there. They're going to run through. We haven't torn down any of the walls yet. Thank goodness. Tomislav, I need you here. No, uh, draft, go there. Who else isn't down in this area? Who else is outside? I don't think anybody is. There's been no reason other than going to get wood. Okay. Um, Sangria, I hate to have you drop the wood in the water. I'll hold off a second. Who else is down here? Um, Klaus, you should be somewhere. There you are. Okay, let's use your assault rifle and your renewed run speed of 4.57. Good. Draft. Let's get you to... They're going to go through here, come down like this. Let's get you into this position real quick. Okay. And is that everybody in the area that's got a good run speed handy? I'm going to... Ah, you're a sniper. Got to get you swapped out to something that's better. Um, pray and spray. Spray and pray. That's what these are known as let's get you into a revolver though it's gonna be too late to to use you right now sangria just go to there and stop okay and draft and let's get you to wrap it around the corner to right here okay rabbit we get down in there they're going to change directions they're going to go around rabbit you have got a charge we're going to put you right there and they've the bulk goods traders left the comms range. We got that done in time. Oh, the bucks too. It said Doe's revenge, but it took all of them. He used to split them up. It would be just the Doe's or just the bucks. But I see that Rabbit's been missing a lot, and they finally had all they were gonna take. Yeah. <laughs> Are you? dead yes and yes so we've got one two three four five six seven eight we've essentially got two mad animal raids against us in the same episode don't we and i'm hitting an hour aren't i i am and it takes so long to upload an hour video let's start it right here next time this could take 10 15 minutes if it gets crazy i thought i just had the three or four does i've got eight enemies coming at me and we're in no position to handle this this is going to take a while 
yeah i'm gonna leave this one on a cliffhanger i'll catch you guys later thanks for watching Bye bye